Welcome Ben, welcome Kate, welcome all to this wedding where we together celebrate your love as you begin your marriage. We have come together to witness the marriage of Ben and Kate, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy, and to celebrate their love. Are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil for if they fall one will lift up the other but woe to one who is alone and falls and does not have another to help again if two lie together they keep warm but how can one keep warm alone and though one might prevail against another two will withstand one a threefold cord is not quickly broken Like most young adults, Kate has had her ups and downs in life, but she's always come through a stronger and more resolute person. She is here today, a beautiful and I believe an extremely happy Mrs. Christie. Her mum and I are so proud of her and truly believe she had met and married her Mr. Wright in bed. Love is patient, um, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude, it does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable, it keeps no record of wrongs, it does not rejoice in wrongdoing but rejoices in the truth, it bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things and love never ends. Benjamin, I give you this ring. Kate, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am. 
all that I am I give to you. And all that I have I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Benjamin and Kate have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. As well as incredibly caring, committed, loving, Kate is also absolutely beautiful as evidenced before you. Um, from the moment we met to now, as I stand before you today, this has only intensified. She has shown me what it feels like to want to be better, to be that someone for someone else and to truly feel selfless for another individual. Couples often tell each other that they love each other which I have no doubt that they do. Um, but for me, I wanted to use this time to embody those words and their meaning to Kate. So, I love you more than the bad times ahead. I love you more than the fights. I love you more than any other distance that separates us. I love you more than the obstacles which will undoubtedly look to knock us off track. I love you more than I can have ever hoped to love anybody. So when I use those again, Use them as a reminder of the promises we have made today and our love for each other. I love you, my wife. So, another toast to my beautiful wife, Mrs. Kate Christie. <laughs> As I've seen Ben move through his life, I've saw him obtain some great traits. He's a hard worker, a good friend, he's caring and committed to his family, which is much bigger now, and he's going to be an awesome husband, I'm sure. Ben, there's been moments in our lives when we haven't seen each other for long spells of times, but every time we get together, it's like no time has passed at all. You're a best friend and a brother for life. If you are half a husband to Kate, as you are a best friend to me, then Kate, you are a very lucky woman. I want to wish you both the best of the future and a long and happy marriage.
I stand here today to say that I'm super proud. I am so proud of the person that you have become. I may be your biggest critic at times, but I'm always your biggest fan. You are hardworking, loyal, a little argumentative at times, but Kate has the measure of you on that score, and I know you love her with all of your heart. Seeing you happy and settled with Kate in your beautiful new home means the world to me. I love you, Ben. I would now like to officially welcome Kate to the Christie family, but the truth is you've been part of our family since the day we met you.